six days into a European war and the Prime Minister set foot in Poland, Ukraine's neighbour and a country living in the shadow of Russia. How are you? Nice I'm very well. You. How are you? How are you? Message to, to Poland, they're in the front line. They've got to cope with uh, huge numbers of refugees uh, already coming into uh, to Poland. Uh, so I'll be talking to Prime Minister Morawiecki about what we're going to do to help. It's only a few hours' drive to the Ukrainian border from the streets of Poland's capital, and this country has already taken in half a million Ukrainians who've fled. The Prime Minister made a commitment that Britain too will be taking in more Ukrainian refugees. So what we're going to do is we're extending the family uh, scheme uh, so that actually very considerable numbers would be eligible, as I, as I set out earlier. You could be talking about a couple of hundred thousand. But it was the words of one Ukrainian journalist who had fled, leaving behind her loved ones, that took centre stage. Ukrainian people are desperately asking for the West to protect our sky. We are asking for the no-fly zone. So you're coming to Poland. You're not coming to Kiev, Prime Minister. You're not coming to Lviv. Because you are afraid. Because NATO is not willing to defend. I see that my family members, that my team members are saying that we are crying. We don't care where to run. Acutely conscious that there is not enough that we can do uh, to, as, the, as the UK government uh, to help in the way that you want. And the UK and, uh, would be engaged in, in shooting down uh, Russian planes, uh, would be engaged in direct combat uh, with Russia. That's not something uh, that uh, we can do. And uh, The Prime Minister told me he understood the question Daria Kilianuk had so passionately asked was essential, but Britain could not go to war with Russia. What do you make of that young woman, Daria, when she was asking you about NATO actually grasping the nettle and realising that we have to sort of commit, you know, forces in order to stop him because they can't? And I, I sympathise so much with, uh, with what she said. And in a way, I was grateful that, that uh, she was able to escalate that issue in the way that she did, because that is the, uh, in many ways, for many people, that is the unspoken question you know why why not just uh engage militarily and uh, and but that's not something that uh any any nato member is is thinking of doing this evening the prime minister visited british troops and armor that's been deployed to nato ally estonia these soldiers of the royal welsh regiment are here to safeguard estonia's independence ragio martapa base estonia